Welcome to No Skinny Cooks. Today we're going to be making three different kinds of doodle cookies. The well-known snickerdoodle, a maple doodle, and a vanilla doodle. All of these share a basic cookie dough recipe with only small variations to change the flavor. We'll start with snickerdoodles. I'll put together the entire recipe and then I'll just show you the variations for the other types. We'll start by adding a cup, or two sticks, of room temperature unsalted butter. To this we're going to add a cup of white sugar and half a cup of packed brown sugar. Using your mixer's paddle attachment, cream the butter and the sugars together until they're well combined. Now add your two eggs, preferably room temperature, and we're going to do this one at a time. While the mixer is running, let's put together our dry ingredients. To your flour, add a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of cream of tartar, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Whisk these ingredients together thoroughly to combine. Now, slowly mix the dry ingredients, about a third at a time, with the creamed butter, sugar, and eggs.
now your cookie dough is basically done. The dough needs to be firm for the next step. So move the dough to a container, cover it with plastic film, and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. Next, we're going to make maple doodles. The recipe is exactly the same except for two ingredients. We're going to replace the white sugar with maple sugar and the cinnamon with a dab of maple extract. Cream the sugars together with the butter just like we did before. After you've added the eggs, put in about half a teaspoon of maple extract. Everything from this point on is just the same as we did with the snickerdoodles. Vanilla doodles also only differ by two ingredients. Replace the granulated sugar with vanilla sugar and the cinnamon with vanilla paste or extract. Cream the butter, brown sugar, and vanilla sugar together just as we did before. After you've added your eggs, put in two teaspoons of vanilla paste. If you don't have vanilla paste, you can use two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'll be sure to add some links to some of the unique ingredients that I've been using here, like the maple and vanilla sugar or vanilla paste, down in the description. Now we need to add the toppings to our cookies. The process is similar for all three, only the ingredients are different. Remove your dough from the refrigerator. In a bowl, add a quarter cup of white sugar, and then to this, add a tablespoon of cinnamon. Whisk it well to combine. This would also be a good time to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Using a medium cookie scoop, you'll get about two and a half to three dozen cookies. Take a scoop of the chilled dough and then, using your hands, roll it into a ball. Place the ball of dough in your bowl with the cinnamon sugar mixture and roll it around really well and get a good coating on it. Transfer the coated dough balls to a cookie sheet, spacing them about two inches apart. Put the cookie sheet in your 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. For the maple doodles, add two tablespoons of white sugar and three to four tablespoons of maple sugar to a bowl. Whisk it really well to combine. You may have to break up some clumps. And then basically just follow the same process for coating the doodle dough as you did with the snickerdoodles.
Finally, the vanilla doodles. For this topping, we're going to use a quarter cup of vanilla sugar. Scoop, roll into balls, drop them in the bowl to coat them well. All three of these doodles take about the same time to cook, about 15 minutes in a 350 degree oven. When done, put them on a cooling rack for a bit, then enjoy. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite. I really like the maple. And there you have it, doodle cookies three different ways. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments what you think, and if you give these a try. As always, if you enjoy my content, Please like and subscribe. Hit the notify bell to be informed when I upload new content. Have a great day.